Hey Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and of course Cross Watchers, welcome to your love reading for November 2021. I hope everyone is doing well. We are going to get into it right away. I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling the uh, overall theme and energy for you for this month. Just want to quickly remind you that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Not all messages may be for you. Also, uh, because I'm simply reading energies, I could be talking about you or your person, so please feel free to swap the roles. And then lastly, I am doing extended readings once again, so if this reading happens to resonate and you would like to follow me over to the extended, keep watching at the end because I'm going to give you a bit of a sneak peek of that extended as well as go over everything that will be included in that extended. So enough of me talking here let's see what is going on for my aquarius this month and remember these uh even though the bulk of my aquariuses may be resonating with this reading throughout the month these readings are technically timeless so this may have resonated with you last month or this may resonate with you next month so always keep that in mind but we do go over a lot of different you know the past the present the future so you might find your story embedded in one of those aquarius a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer i'm loving this something has been on your mind lately aquarius um, there are definitely some emotions here. You may be trying to figure out what exactly to do in a situation. Full moons are about completion, uh, things coming into fruition. For some of you, you may have cancer in your chart or possibly your person does, but that is not necessary. But I'm definitely feeling like there are, you know, some emotions that have been stirring within you lately gonna pull a few more here let's see what do I want to do here let's grab the overall theme and energy The waiting game. We're doing something a little bit different. So this will be new to you if you have seen my readings previously. I try to get as detailed as possible here. So we've got the waiting game, prosperity begins, and heart chakra. Okay. I'm going to pull one more for down here. Heartache and loss. And then, you know, we're, we're going to pull... What do I want to do here? We're going to pull three more here from the Romance Angel Oracles. Too many, too many, too many. Just saw three, three, three as well here. Release your ex. Free yourself. very soon so what i am getting here is that there is with the waiting game with the overall energy here the surrounding energy there's definitely some stagnation and I'm feeling that this is where a resolution is needed. With you being represented by 
prosperity begins, which is equivalent to the Ace of Pentacles, you're wanting a new, tangible, fresh start here. You are looking for something new. I don't feel, I mean, we're going to have to see exactly what's going on here. It could be with a new person or this current person. But things are really feeling on hold here. I'm sensing that you want a new beginning with this person. Um, you may be wanting to send a message or to hear from them. Your person down here is feeling some sort of heartache and loss. We got heart chakra and heartache and loss, which is equivalent to the three of swords. So I am sensing that you are feeling a bit optimistic. You're looking for a new fresh start where someone here, they're still hurt by something. This could be something about the past that happened with them. Someone here could still be holding on, even if it's just like energetically, possibly to an ex or some sort of like past trauma. Okay, I really do want to get tarot out here. We do have separation at the bottom of the deck. So you and someone here could possibly not be in communication. This person could be dealing with a blocked heart chakra. The need to really open their heart after heartbreak as well. I feel like someone has been a, a bit closed off towards you in this connection, which has kind of led to stagnation. But before we jump too ahead here, I do want to see what Tarot has to say. Everything has been pre-shuffled. I am still going to oops, give this a little bit. Oh, too many cards here. Bit of a shuffle. Messages for my Aquarius this month, please. Please make it clear. We are using the after tarot deck so it's a little bit different it's like a different version of the rider weight but it mirrors it it's pretty fun what's going on here for my aquarius king of cups three of cups in the reverse okay here we go ace of wands in the reverse the world in the reverse representing your person Knight, yeah, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here, representing you. Six of Pentacles, though. Not bad. I do like this energy. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Wands. So there was definitely some inner conflict going on regarding a situation. Some tension that was here. I am sensing that you may be wanting a new beginning here. You may be wanting something new. I'm sensing that you do care about this person and you would like to move forward with this person. But with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I mean, this is the slowest knight in the deck. So when he's in the reverse, he's not even on the horse. You're wanting this new beginning, but it's almost a sense of feeling like you are being not being held back because I don't want to paint you in a sense of a victim because you're definitely not a victim, Aquarius. But I feel that you are still a little bit invested in this connection here. I'm sensing that there was a connection that meant something to you. And I'm sensing that even though you want to be with this person, you may want to move forward with this person, you feel like they are the ones that are held back in some way, shape, or form. So in return, it's kind of causing stagnation in this connection. And you may be kind of looking around for an out here because you want to move forward. You're sick and tired of the stagnation, but it's like, you got one foot in, one foot out. That's the energy that I'm getting because it feels like there was a missed opportunity here in the past. There was an opportunity to really ignite this passionate flame to take action, but it didn't happen. 
okay with the king of cups upright on the surface you may be coming off cool calm collected whether or not you are in communication with this person this energy is being surrounded by the waiting game so waiting things out like i said you may not be talking to this person the block here is the three of cups in the reverse so I really don't think that you two are in communication, but this could be a third party in the background that someone needs to let go of because this person <laughs> is dealing with some sort of heartache and loss. And with this is the block, I feel like the person that you're dealing with is still trying to get over, complete a cycle with someone. And this is Capricorn energy, by the way, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn, you don't need to be. Maybe they are dealing with the Capricorn. Someone here may have Capricorn placements. But this feels like this person might need some closure or they might need to energetically close up a cycle with someone, okay? The thing is, is that you might not be entirely sure which way things are going to go. But with release your ex, free yourself very soon, and then the outcome, the Six of Pentacles, I am sensing that you are going to be hearing from this person and there will be this equal give and take because this is the energy between you and this person, not between, this is mutual energies here on the top, okay? So there is going to be something happening here that is back and forth because this could just, it's, pentacles are tangible, so well, tang, tangible energy, like, because it's in the 3D, so it could just be this, like, back and forth. We're really going to have to clarify to really understand what this may consist of. But what I want to do here, Aquarius, is... I want to get into clarifying this a bit more and see what's really going on here. So we're going to do that and then we're going to dive deep. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. I kind of moved my camera just a little bit because I realized you guys couldn't really see everything down here, so I did my best. I'm going to say this is my first time really using this deck, this new deck that I got. I was so excited to use it for you guys, Aquarius. But I am actually loving the energy, and I feel like I'm really connecting with this deck. Um... You could be dealing with a water sign you don't need to be, but there is a situation here, Aquarius, where, where I'm sensing that, you know, you are in your power here. You may have felt some turbulence in the past with your emotions, but I think that some time has passed here and you may be feeling a bit restless around what to do in a situation okay you may be wondering if you just need to move on you're like in that in-between stage okay and you may be having trouble making a decision and you may have tried to just leave it to time you know allowing things to just resolve with time here um but i think that you may have been hoping for some sort of revival in a connection but you're doing good here as far as, you know, emotionally, I feel like you've been able to detach from the situation a bit emotionally, take a step back. I think you're very focused on yourself here, okay? And you may just be trying to wait it out because you realize that it takes two and if this person is not on board with you, you just need to move on as much, you know, as... As hard as that would be, you're you're approaching this as the King of Cups. You know, what is done needs to be done. And I do want to pull an oracle here very quickly. Just get some more insight. Yeah. 
Exactly, Sodigy. I think I could be pronouncing this wrong, forgive me if I am. But if you look at this card, it's like some of the pieces are missing. You're not, the puzzle isn't completely done. But it, this is about walking away from something, longing, nostalgia, missing something, like feeling like something may have come to an end prematurely, okay? Like there's this beautiful sunset there, these colors, this gradient, but there are missing pieces because I'm getting it takes two. And... You may be feeling like this person moved on, but as you're waiting, you may just, you may be yearning for this person, missing this person, and feeling like you need to walk away. You know, you're feeling sad about this. I'll pull one more oracle. Actually, yeah, we'll pull, we'll pull one, we'll use one of these. Purge, yeah. You may be feeling like you may need to simply let go here, but you're you're not fully. It's like this one foot in, one foot out energy. Okay. Someone may have done you wrong. For some of you, you may have known that there was a third party. And if there was no third party, there was just someone here who pulled back their effort okay because the three of cups in the reverse sure it can signify a third party but the primary meaning of this card is because when it's upright these are people having a good time they're socializing celebration when it's in the reverse this is about being a bit antisocial, you know and so either way someone was not really communicative, not really talkative, maybe they didn't want to get together as much. Third party or no third party, you felt like this person did you wrong. And I feel like you're looking at this, this lack of initiation, um, this lack of passion, okay? And you just, the lack of passion that feels like that is coming from like this other person feeling like they're just not interested anymore. And I think you're looking at this and just realizing how not only did it not feel fair, but that you deserve so much more here in this situation than, than this person was giving. And justice is Libra energy, by the way. For some of you, you may be wondering if, you know, this person possibly ghosted you for someone else. And that hurts, you know? You may not have the, the clarity as to why this person pulled their energy away. You may have started to receive less and less, uh, you know, messages or calls from them, hearing from them less. Love, yeah. You felt like this love was blocked, this connection, like this person was voluntarily blocking this connection. And it couldn't be because of some sort of, like I said, for some of you, a third party. Oops, too many, even though they wanted to flip over here. Solitude, yeah. So it's like you acknowledge that there, you know, there was this connection that felt so strong, but at the same time, someone took their energy back. This is, the solitude card is that, literally that three of um, cups in reverse energy, not really hearing from this person. One more here. Healing, yeah. So with this, I feel like you may have been focusing on yourself, your healing, but I'm feeling like 
your person is healing from something. In the past, it felt like there was a missed opportunity. There was a stalemate here, and there may have been someone, for some of you, just some of you, um, this person could have been dealing with addictions, but that's not necessary. But there were a lot of fears here, and with the devil, this is screaming self-sabotage. Um, you could be dealing with an earth sign, but you don't need to be. There is this feeling, the sense of someone who may have it going really well for them on the material level. You know, a good job, good status in society is the typical, you know, family man or family woman or someone that is able to provide. But there's this part of them that is unfulfilled. It's a very, I want to pull a diff, or a, an oracle here. Friendship. So, okay, let me pull one more here. That wanted to fly over whatever it was. Karmic partner. Karmic, okay, so this is getting juicy, Aquarius. Let me pull one more here. Patience. Barrier at the bottom of the deck. So, I am sensing, Aquarius, that you are like very tuned in and you may have not known all the answers, but something intuitively was like you sense something here. Like this connection is incredible. There's so much that's good about this connection. I don't understand why this person doesn't really want to move forward. Like there has to be something externally holding this person back. And I think that you started to just feel like this person wasn't all in and you couldn't really put your fingers on it or, you know, you couldn't really figure it out, but something was there. And the energy that this person may have been putting in, or they could have like, you may have been feeling like this person like friend zoned you in a way, or they just were looking for a friendship. Like they they didn't want anything more that's how it felt and for some of you you may have been wondering if this person was just very focused on their material life and and it could have seemed that this person had it all together but then a part of you may have been wondering if this person was just deeply emotionally unhappy with themselves or whatever else was going on in their life but for some of you, you could have been intuitively knowing or maybe you found out that this missed opportunity was because this person was still dealing, you know, with a lot of fears, maybe even like the tendency to sabotage connections. I'm sensing that this, for some of you, this person could have also came off a bit materialistic as well. But overall, it felt like things weren't moving forward and you saw through it that this person was simply not ready. For all of you, it's going to be different. Okay, some of it, for some of you, you realize that this person probably had the tendency to self-sabotage. For others of you, you may have recognized fears within this person. For others of you, you may have felt like this person was very focused on the material world and wasn't really looking for that Ten of Cups. But whatever you realized here, whatever it was, you felt that this person just kind of wanted a friendship. And you may have tried to be patient. And I think intuitively you felt that this person was dealing with someone else, possibly a karmic partner. 
that their eye was elsewhere and that this is why this person wasn't wanting to move forward with you. And I'm sensing that regardless if this person had a tendency to self-sabotage or fears or materialism or whatever it was, You try to be patient and allow time to solve things, possibly bring you answers. And I feel that it is with this personal issue reaches a resolution. And I think from then on, he decided to just kind of focus on you, do you, because you were not happy in this situation. You were not happy where it was going. So you may have just started to focus on you, you know, your finances, things of that nature. And you over here, right now, you are in this energy of not entirely sure. I mean, it is the waiting game that, you know, you may have walked away, decided to focus on you, but things weren't really closed out. And it may be the sense of walking away from something that feels very, you know, premature, uh, like, like it was closed out prematurely. And you're wanting... I think to hear from this person, but I don't think you want to reach out here. You're feeling a bit stuck and not sure of where you want to take action. But I think you got to that spot in your life where as the king of wands, you're ready to make those big decisions passionately and go towards what it is that you want, whether it is to walk away from this person or towards this person. But with Ace of uh, Swords in the reverse, I'm sensing that you don't have all of the information necessary in order to make that decision yet. Okay. Um, there's something here that m is making your situation feel very much up in the air. And I think it has to do with the lack of closure or lack of, you know, this person could have just not really said anything to you. But there is some inner conflict. It's like, you want that new beginning with or without this person. I think you're you're wanting some sort of closure possibly to hear from this person. Feeling a bit stuck, but you will walk away from this if you need to. But there is this very much this limbo feeling. But you'll you'll purge this person out of your life. But it's this the sense that you don't want to it's that sense of doing it prematurely. I think there there's definitely a little bit of attachment here still on your end because this connection was meaningful. And I think you, you would like some closure or clarity as to what went on, even though, you know, your intuition is very much, you're very in touch with your intuition. And I, I feel that you kind of, you already knew what happened here. Interference, yeah. You knew that there was some sort of interference here. But for some of you, let's see what was, yeah. Feeling a bit stuck. It's like almost like this tug of war. Devotion. Yeah, like I said, like you're still being a bit one foot in, one foot out, like you return. Yeah, like I do feel like you want to talk to, to this person and you do wish for a new, like a message. You want to hear from them. You would like a new beginning with them. You're feeling a bit stuck. You're not going towards them, a bit conflicted. And I think you're just in this moment with the waiting game trying to figure out what to do. You will purge them out of your life if necessary, but you still feel like you are in limbo here. There is a sense of devotion to this person, though, and I think that you are wanting them to return. There is a lot of care. Down here... Your person, Three of Swords, basically we pulled this twice. Um, this person is definitely dealing with a heart chakra blockage and really being open to love. This person is still healing from a lot, from something, okay? And 
Three of Swords basically pull twice. This is equivalent to the heartache and loss. And there's a lot of instability within, insecurity, four of um, wands in the reverse and nine of cups in the reverse. They're not happy at all. They are not happy. And um, I think something is hitting them here because I'm feeling, feeling this very strange energy. Growth. Crossroads, yes. I see what ascend. So and we have recognition at the bottom of the deck. So there's definitely this energy of feeling like this situation is fizzling out because there have been or there has been this I'm sensing it's been quiet for some time. You know, the stagnation, it's like, how much stagnation can there be before you just walk away is, is the energy that this person is like feeling. Because they know that they left things open here. They're healing from something, but at the same time, how they feel towards this energy of the situation between you two, they're not happy about it either. It's almost a sense of they're, they're still healing from something from their past and trying to let go of someone, but now it's a sense of also losing you. And there is this feel of like melancholy a, a, a bit, and they know that if they do want growth in the situation with you, they need to ascend this energy and just go for this new beginning. There is this crossroad. I, I'm i sensing that growth, crossroads, and ascending wouldn't be popping up here if this energy wasn't towards you. Like this person is definitely dealing with pain from another situation. Okay? This person in the past definitely could have been actively seeing a karmic. And if they weren't they're definitely um they've been healing trying to heal from this from a while or for a while and something here definitely made their heart close up but they're at a crossroads now it's like if they don't get over this they're going to continue to break their heart with every person that they try to see or date which is usually why they say you know Work on yourself, heal. Sorry about that. My camera basically fell over and I needed to readjust a couple of things. Um, they say, you know, this is why if you're not healed from a past connection, you should not continue dating. You should focus on you and get over that pain. But at the same time, sometimes people do end up meeting someone that, you know can help them heal and is understanding enough. But yeah, if this person is continuing to date while still dealing with past heartbreak, it's the sense of they're breaking their heart over and over and over again with all these other people that they try to date, including you, possibly you are the only one, or maybe this person was dating around. It really depends on the situation. My point here is that it's not a smart move to go out and continue to date if you're not really ready to, you know, go for something new. I do want to pull, I'm going to use a different deck here. What does this person want? Wait, let's see, what is... I don't know. 
ask the question yet. What does this person want with Aquarius? <sighs> Some sort of revival here. Whoops, too many. What's, let's see, what's the energy going on between Aquarius's person and this karmic here for this ex. The magician. Tell me more. What's going on here? The hanged man in the reverse, so oops, too many. What is what is um Aquarius is person healing from right now? What's this three of swords? So much major arcana. Oh my gosh, too many. Can't take these. Yeah, here's this Ace of Pentacles with Judgment. They do want to talk to you. They do want a revival in this situation. I am sensing with the Magician and the Hanged Man in the reverse. New insight has definitely come in from this person. Okay. There are some realizations. Let's pull, let's pull in more here. Oh, no, no, no. Signs. So what I am sensing here is that this person may have been involved with someone in the past and they're trying to release themselves um page energy is <sighs> i am just getting the sense of oh and by the way something could have happened here in the summer between them maybe you some sort of significant dates in the summer maybe someone had summer birthdays here but it's almost like this sense of when I see summer, fall, signs, tribe, it's almost like this person may have gone towards this karmic in the past way too fast, thinking that they were the one, even though there were some signs here that things were going to die out. It's almost a sense of charging towards something, especially with, where's that, where are those other cards? The chariot... We have the chariot here. Did I actually pick those up? That's strange. Should I? Oh no, they're right here. Sorry. I set them aside when I was fixing the camera, I think. Um, we pulled these. 
healing from it's like this person was going towards something too fast they they they're trying to get out of something they went towards something too fast it didn't work out this person could be trying to could have been trying to stay in like a friendship with this person either because they were part of a friend group or maybe they had like children with this person so they were trying to keep things civil but there's something here where this person because this is major arcana that, you know it's like you have the tools what do you want to do with it uh, with something how do you want to move forward what do you want to manifest in your life and with the hanged man in the reverse this is after like really taking a look at things you know some sort of enlightenment coming in and being able to like release yourself from that situation being able to you know move forward and with page of cups this is page energy, so whatever sort of offer this is from this third party or them, it's not much here. But whatever I'm sensing is that this person's ties with this this third party, it's never going to go anywhere. What's the point of the these two people keeping in touch unless it was some sort of like i said they have children with them or like they need to keep in touch for some sort of reason but if this person was just trying to be friends with this person your person was just trying to be friends with this third party or keep things civil when it really wasn't necessary or because they're in the same friend group or something or maybe they worked with them or something like that it's interfering with this person's healing and getting over them and they're looking at this missed opportunity because with you, they want this revival judgment. And this was the stagnation. This was like a lack of, you know, things. There was no revival here. A decision wasn't being made and they're wanting to make this decision and, and come towards you. But this person needs to realize because the energy that I'm getting is a lot of like impulsive energy between this third party and your person in the past. It's almost like this person ran into a connection, lots of sparks, and then it died out. And, the, and like seeing the signs, knowing it wasn't gonna work, knowing that they should just walk away. But then there are still these like energetic ties, possibly feeling a lack of closure. But then they're also sad because they realize that this the growth between you two has been stunted and this situation between you two is basically going to die out. Because I think you would just walk away. And this person's not happy. There's a lack of stability. There's a lot of realizations coming in for this person. And it, in the future... We've got the six of uh, pentacles upright with five of pentacles in the reverse. So this is about bringing someone in from out of the cold. Because I think this person is realizing that I think this third party was only coming in with like page energy. Or they were only giving page energy or that holding on here was like holding on to a connection or even energetically even if these people are not in contact there's no point because nothing's going to happen here there's nothing that can stem from this situation paying attention to the signs from summer to fall summer is beautiful growth fixed energy fall things are starting to you know with this card die out and i love the fall months you know it's it's all about <laughs> death and rebirth you know the the cycles of seasons but i'm just getting that sometimes when the situation ends you just gotta walk away and this basically a dead connection that was being dragged out started to interfere with this person to be able full to fully give themselves to you but now this person, I think they're realizing that. I think they're realizing the interference because now they're wanting to come in and turn this judgment upright, this reverse judgment upright because they're wanting judgment. They're wanting to make a decision, a revival of some sort. That's their energy towards the, 
the situation of a lack of decision is wanting to make that decision come in with ace of pentacles which is what you're wanting as well that new you know to hear from them or to say something to them but like i said i don't think that i think you're waiting for them to reach out but this person is bringing you in from out of the cold and i'm sensing you're gonna hear from them here and it's almost the sense of because in the past you you may have felt like this was an op a lost opportunity like they just kind of disappear they kind of ghosted you here lack of opportunity you may have just been feeling like you just needed to move on but this energy in this card is very different for me because it's like they were this woman the child and the man they're all on this boat you're you know gender doesn't matter here male or female doesn't matter however you resonate but they were all on this boat going to better calmer waters and this person carrying the bulk of the weight to take them there because i thought i'm just sensing that you felt like this was completely over and i think that things were starting to completely fall apart but then someone here had a like second thoughts and realizations that came in soulmate recognition there we go a personal issue reaches resolution you realizing that there was an interference knowing that you'll make the right decision whatever you needed to do but still kind of waiting it out to see how it would pan out this person finally releasing their ex freeing themselves from their ex and then very soon this is usually you know about communication so someone's coming in this month to bring you in from out of the cold and i think that you felt like this is a you know a lost opportunity but it's almost like i don't know i got this image but getting someone on this boat and just like carrying the, that heavy weight of these swords and like doing whatever needs to be done to get this back on track connection at the bottom of the deck soulmate recognition though you know realizing that this is a lot more so there's some, definitely some sort of wake-up call and with the crossroads they may have been trying to figure out what to do for a while but they're coming towards you They're coming towards you. So that's what I'm really getting. Um, we're definitely going to be doing an extended here. If you would like to join me over at the extended, we're going to take a look at this person's feelings, their intentions. Um, we're also going to take a look at what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know, including any sort of blocks. We're going to take a look more at this outcome you know more into that more about the actions that they may be taking towards you how this will go we're going to take a look at um some guidance and advice we're also going to be pulling some messages from the twin flame journey messages for messages that they may want to tell you um now or maybe they did in the past or even in the future we'll pull one now for you and then um Anything else that comes up along the way, you guys know if you see my uh, extendeds, I go pretty hard. Uh, these readings are usually anywhere between 30 minutes to over an hour, depending on what we, you know, what comes up along the way, what we dig deep into, what I let you know, that's what I know we will 100% be exploring, but there's always more that usually pops up, so... Um, if you would like to join me over there, the link for that will be in the description box below. But keep watching because I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sneak peek. But let's pull a message here. I'm not the same person that you remember. So this could have been some time here. Like I said, this person is having a lot of realizations. I just wasn't ready for you. Seems about right. 
So we're going to pull more of these. We're also going to use a couple more Oracle decks um, with messages like this to grab some messages. Um, and I just want to put this also up on the screen just to explain how this works. So once you click that link in the description box to go to the extended, it'll take you through the process um, right away. All you have to do is click back to merchant or return to merchant, and it should take you directly to the reading. Um, it's just a Dropbox link, and um, you can choose to download it. There should be um, the option to download, look for like a little arrow. It's somewhere on the page um, towards the top, I believe, to either download or you can just stream it. If for some reason you have any sort of issues with that, no need to repurchase. Within 10 minutes, there is going to be a link sent to you um, to your email with a backup link that you will always have. You will always be able to, to access this reading. So just in case you exit out of it or anything like that, check your email within 10 minutes. It'll be in there. All you have to do is click on it and it will take you back to the reading. But it's not just going to play. You actually have to click on it um, and go to the page. But um, yeah, I just wanted to explain that because I've gotten some emails just in case, you know, people click out of it. No need to repurchase. Just check your email. But that's how it works. So again, if you want to join me over, the link for that is in the description box below. If not, then I hope this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight. And um, yeah, that is what I have for you. Please share, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If this did resonate with you, please let me know how it did in the comments because I read all of them and it really means a lot to really just understand how my, my readings fit into your day-to-day -day life. So so yeah, that is what I have for you. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate all of your support. Um, I will see you next time. Bye. This person with this reconciliation card, they're definitely wanting to reconcile with you and come back into your life. And I've, I've thought a lot about you lately. Yes, and this is this like conflict and defeat card. My mind and heart always comes back to you. That's This is this conflict and defeat, like trying to walk away but being pulled back towards you so they know that they would need to make the, this big transformation and obviously it is challenging them and they're not ruling it out or else there wouldn't be this conflict and de defeat there wouldn't be this desire to come back into your life this contract card wouldn't be here because i think they know deep missing down. spending time with you and the good times together. I feel like you two had, there was like a lot of like good conversation that a lot of you, maybe not all of you, but a lot of you have been dealing with this situation for a while. If you haven't been dealing with the situation for a while, this may have been a very intense, and you won't expect any of this to happen. You won't expect these things to play out in the way that they do because first off, I feel like you've been waiting for a while, but this is fated. So you can't really mess with fate or divine timing. Things happen in divine timing. So I don't feel like you are going to expect this, but there is, like I said, emotional fulfillment with you and this person. Someone, there's, some, there's something here and I think it's this awareness that's been coming in that kind of clear.